Hi, welcome back to Ella's Hour. I'm your host, Ella Marshall, and today we have a special guest, Mason Choate. Mason is here today to talk about his time at the University of Arkansas's newspaper, The Arkansas Traveler. He was hired over this past summer and currently works as an editor. So Mason, why did you originally apply? Well, to be honest with you, I wasn't planning on applying. Um, my friend Robert Stewart decided to move up and take the managing editor position, and I was kind of his number two in the sports section, so he said, hey, if I do this, will you move up to be sports editor? And I'm not the best writer. I don't really understand grammar very much, but I ended up saying, yeah, sure, I'll do it, because I felt like I felt like I could do a good job with the sports section. And so um, we decided that we were kind of going to, I guess, team up and I would be the sports editor, he'd be the managing editor, and uh, it's going well so far. So would you say you can see this as a future career now? Not as a sports editor, or I, I, I don't really like print news, to be honest with you. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a great writer. Um, I just enjoy reporting on sports. I'm a broadcast major, so my, my goal is to uh, be in radio. Um, I wouldn't be mad if I like wrote for a website or uh, um, a newspaper one day, but that's, that's not the ultimate goal. How do you feel when a story gets, that you edited gets published? Uh, it feels good sometimes. Sometimes it's a little frustrating, especially if you miss something. But uh, for the most part, you know, it's, it's nice to know that, hey, you know, I help motivate that person. I help, I help that person get that story done. But at the end of the day, I'm most proud of my writers because I, you know, they're doing most of the work. And when they submit something really good, um, you know, it makes my job so much easier. And so I'm just... I'm just kind of happy, I guess. <laughs> so what would you say is your favorite story you've published? Oh, goodness. So I've probably, I did a recruiting story my freshman year about the, they called it the Fantastic Four, um, all the four stars who came in for the basketball recruiting class, Eric Musselman's first freshman class. And so that was my first story that got published on the print edition. So mm -hmm. I, I have it framed in my apartment. You know, it's, it's really cool. I was very proud of that, and uh, I still am. So I, I would say, I guess that's my only story that ever got printed because we weren't able to have the print edition with COVID last year. So that that was a cool thing for me. So you said you would like to work for a website if possible, but you've also printed. Which one do you prefer, prefer more? Um, you know, I've worked for a few websites. Um, the, a website is different from a newspaper because you aren't, it, it's a little like more relaxed. Um, that you don't have to follow the rules as much. So that's something that I prefer, especially someone who isn't great with the rules. You have to follow AP style, which is really difficult sometimes. So uh, I think I would probably prefer a website if, if, that was, if that was an option in the future. Do you find there to be any other challenges that come with your job? The hardest part is definitely managing other people. Um, you know, it's, it's difficult when people aren't communicating with you and uh, when, when you have to stay on top of others, because I have other stuff to do. So um, I, I have to try to trust them to do their things, and sometimes they aren't able to accomplish it. Is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, you know, one of my biggest things with this job is that I want people to understand that sports journalism, or student journalism, is real journalism. So um, for those of you out there who don't think that it is, it is. We're doing real news. We're reporting on real things. So um, we're just as important as anybody else. All right, thank you for joining us, Mason Show. I'm Ella Marshall. This has been Ella's Hour. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. See you next time.